A sprung dance floor is one of the most important environmental factors that for a dancer when they are rehearsing and performing. The properties of a sprung dance floor can directly influence a dancer's performance and their health and well-being. So in this course, we'll look at the mechanics of a sprung dance floor and how it can, how we can describe the way that floors influence dancers' health and well-being. And we'll look at various research studies that have asked these questions. What is the influence of a dance floor on a dancer? So we start the course by taking this basic schematic of a floor with its uh, wooden board and foam padding underneath and we'll look at, well, how does this influence the floor's behaviour? And by behaviour, we mean mechanical behaviour. How does the floor respond to a dancer moving on the floor in a mechanical sense? And one of the best ways to describe a floor's behaviour is to look at the properties of the floor as acting like a spring that you can see here. So we look at the properties of a floor to be spring-like because a spring is really good at absorbing and returning energy. And that's a crucial component of a sprung dance floor is that it can both absorb energy and return it to the dancer when it is being danced upon. With that in mind, we then go across and we think about how the industry standards then have been formed that apply to the manufacture of custom dance floors. So if a dance floor is to be sold as appropriate for dance, they have to meet these certain industry standards which are associated with specific measurements, specific measurements that apply to those floors. And we're going to look at how those measurements are conducted and how they may relate to the way a dancer actually uses a floor. We then go up and start to look at how a floor can influence a dancer's body. And the most common part of a dancer's body that is in contact with the floor is of course the foot. So we look at how the muscles in particular that cross, that connect to the foot and cross the ankle joint act to stabilize, to stiffen, and to control the foot and ankle when the dancers go through these really dynamic and intense impacts on the floor. Moving on to a little bit more of an applied studies, we'll look at then how do dancers perceive? What are the dancers' perceptions of floors? So what do dancers feel in a floor? What do they think is a good thing about a good property of a floor? What is a bad property of a floor? And in particular, how do these perceptions then relate to these industry standards? We'll finish off by considering the big question of whether a dance floor actually influences the likelihood of a dancer becoming injured. So is a dance floor actually necessary to prevent injuries in dancers? So by the end of the course, you should have a good sense of the mechanical properties of a floor and how it relates to a dancer and the influence that a floor has on a dancer.